You know the feeling when something is staring at you? Hello, people of the internet. Now, whether you're a youngin or you're gray-haired, stuffed animals are an adorable necessity for, like, everyone. So, today I'm going to show you how to make a cute crochet puppy dog and a kitty cat. And this video is really long, so let's get started. Starting off with materials, you'll need yarn, so whatever colors you guys want, a pair of scissors, some buttons for eyes, I'm using a size J10 6mm crochet hook, and you'll need a darning needle as well. And you could borrow either a pillow or you could buy it, but basically you'll need some stuffing. Also, this pattern is inspired by yourcrochet.com's Easy Cube Animals, and I'll have the link to that pattern down below. First, we'll start with the cute puppy dog. So starting off with your yarn, begin with a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your two fingers, put the yarn in between, then with your crochet hook, pull that out, and then pull the long strand to pull it tight. And so we'll be splitting this into different parts and sections of the little animal. So we'll start with the body. Make some chains, wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull it through the loop and make four chains. And then go into the first chain, pull some yarn through, and then slip knot it to the first loop on your crochet hook to make a ring. And this is row one of your body. Now go into the next stitch and you're going to make three single crochets. So go inside, grab, grab some yarn, come out, grab some yarn, go through both loops. So that's three single crochets in one stitch. And now you're gonna go into the next stitch and do that again. So as you can see, these stitches are tight and ideally the pattern requests for a magic circle, but I have never had a good experience with magic circles in my entire crochet career. So we are doing four chain rings. So continue making your three single crochets in each stitch all the way around. And when you're done, just join that with the first single crochet you made in that row with a slip stitch like that. Now moving on to the second row, it's going to so chain one and then in that stitch do a single crochet. So this row is gonna have a certain pattern, but before we start, we're going to do this. So you're gonna have your first single crochet in that stitch. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do three single crochets in that. And this will be making the first corner. So this is going to be like a square. So now that you're done with that, you're going to make two single crochets and two separate stitches. So one single crochet, and then in the next stitch, another single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to make three. So how this row is gonna work, you're going to make two separate single crochets and two separate stitches. And then you're going to do three single crochets in one stitch. The three single crochets make the corner of your square. So then you're gonna do that all the way around And then when you come back, you're gonna have some stitches left. And so you're gonna just make one single crochet instead of two because you don't have room for that. And then you're going to join it with the first single crochet you made in that row with a slip stitch. Moving on to the second row. So you're going to chain one and then in that stitch, you're gonna make a single crochet. And then the next stitch, make another single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to make the three single crochets. So one, two, and three in that one stitch. So that's the first corner of this row. And then for this row, we're going to do four separate single crochets and then three single crochets in one stitch. So this stitch, you're going to do one single crochet and then your second single crochet. And then in the next stitch, your third single crochet and then in the fourth stitch, your fourth single crochet. So four separate ones. And then in the next stitch, so the fifth one from there, you're going to do three single crochets. So that'll be making the second corner. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way around. And as you can see, this is really similar to a granny square if you haven't, if you've done one before. If you haven't, I have a video and I'll attach that in the corner and there'll also be a little thumbnail. So once you've done that all around and you've finished your last corner, you're going to have some stitches left and you're going to do two single crochets instead of four because again, you don't have room for that. And then once you're done doing your last single crochet, you're just going to join that with the first single crochet in that row 
with a slip stitch. And as you can see, your little square is starting to form. So onto the third row, chain one, and then in that stitch you're in, you're going to make a single crochet. And then you're going to single crochet three times in three different stitches. So that's one, and then two. So as you, the stitch you were in was counted as one. So you did three, and then in that corner, you're gonna do three inside that stitch. So one, two, and then three. So that's your first corner and this row you're going to do six single crochets and then three single crochets for the corner stitches so that's one two three four five and six so those six separate single crochets and then in that next stitch you're going to do the three single crochets inside that to make your second corner and then you're going to do that all the way around so once you've come all the way around you'll have your last few stitches left enough to make three single crochets so as you can see the start of the square and the end of the square is always different because it's in between. So once you're done doing your last single crochet of the row, join it with the first single crochet of the row with a slip stitch. Moving on to the sixth row. So in the stitch you're in, make a single crochet like always. And then you're gonna make another three so that you have four single crochets in that first section. So two, three, and then four, but here's the thing, I did one more, so I did five. And the reason why I did this was because I thought I was a bit too early from the corner, and if you ever feel like that, that's okay. You could do maybe one, just don't do too many because then it could mess up the square. So, and then when you're done doing the four, so make sure to do four, hopefully you do four, not five you're going to do the three single crochets in that one stitch to make your first corner. And then the pattern for this row is to make eight separate single crochets, and then you're going to make three single crochets in the corner stitch. So I did my eight, and then, well actually, no I didn't. Never mind, I didn't cut, don't listen to me. Anyways, so this is probably my second or my third. This is my third one. Okay, so that's three four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So I did eight separate single, separate single crochets and then in the next stitch, I'll be doing the three single crochets to make the corner and then I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. So once I've done and I'm coming around, there's a few stitches left. So I'm just going to do four single crochets to complete that. And then join it with a slip stitch with the first single crochet I made on that row. Now for the seventh row, we'll be doing things a little bit differently, but chain one and then make a single crochet in the stitch you're in. And then you're gonna have five in this area, so make four more. So two, three, four, five, and I guess I did one more again. <laughs> Don't try, try not to, just make sure to have five in that area. Now we'll be doing things a little differently. So go into the next stitch grab some yarn but don't complete the single crochet go into the next stitch grab some yarn come out you'll have three loops then grab some yarn and go through all three that's called an sc2 tog or single crochet two together and that's the whole decreasing process so it makes those two stitches into one 
So after you do the SC2 tog, you're going to do nine single crochets. So I did that in fast forward, and then you're gonna do SC2 tog again. So you're gonna not complete it, go into the next stitch, grab some yarn, come out, and then go through all three so that you're taking two stitches and making them into one. And then you're just gonna do that all the way around. And then once you finish that and join it with a slip stitch with the first single crochet in that row, we're going to move on to row eight. And basically from here, you're just going to do eight single, uh, eight single crochets. You're just going to do single crochets all the way around. As you can see, I'm at the first corner and I'm not doing any three single crochets in the corner or any SE two togs. So you're just going to do single crochets all the way around and you're going to do it for row. So that's row eight. And then you're going to do it all the way up to row 13. So once you're done, you're gonna have kind of like this little cute bag. And as you can see, I put a safety pin as a stitch marker. But moving on to row 14, you're going to make four single crochets in the first section area. And then you're going to do something a little different. So you're gonna make, kind of make a single crochet, don't complete it, go into the next stitch, and then go into the stitch after that. So that when you pull all your yarn, you're gonna have three loops and then you're gonna pull through all three so that's sc3 talk you're going to single crochet three stitches together to make one and then for this row you're going to make seven separate single crochets so this should be three or four okay when i'm like describing it's like really hard to count so you're going to make seven separate single crochets and then you're going to do sc3 tog so right here we're going to start decreasing back down so that we could complete the cube so sc3 tog come grab some yarn, don't complete it, go into the next stitch, grab some yarn again, and then go into the third stitch, and then grab some yarn, you'll have three loops, and grab some yarn and go through all three, so that you're making three stitches into one. And then do seven se separate single crochets, and just repeat that pattern all the way around. So once you've done that all the way around, and you join it with a slip stitch, you're going to do a single crochet and stitch you're in, and just make two more so that you have three. So there we go, that's three. And then you're going to do SC3 tog again, and then go through all those loops. So for this row, you're going to be doing five separate single crochets and then SC3 talk. So that's two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna do SC3 talk. So grab some yarn and then go into the next stitch grab some yarn and then go into the next stitch grab some yarn you'll have three loops and then go through all three to finish sc3 tog and just repeat that pattern five separate single crochets sc3 tog all the way around so once you finish that row 15 don't cut your yarn take a little break from crocheting and it's stuffing time so add your stuffing from wherever you got it from and just it as you need to make it into a really nice cube and then it's time to attach the eyes so I'm gluing my button eyes because I'm lazy and I don't want to sew, but you can also sew it on with some yarn. And when you place them, place them around row 10 or 11 and have them be about six to seven stitches away from each other to give that like cutesy look. Now with your darning needle and some black yarn, make sure to knot it at the end. We're going to start making the nose. So the nose is going to be a triangle shape. So go from underneath and make sure you're kind of in between the two eyes. And then you're going to make a line in between across so that it's right in between the two eyes and it's going to be a row below the eyes and then you're going to go from like a row down make sure you're in between that line and just go to the other side of the line i'm probably not making sense while i'm talking but basically as you can see i'm making a triangle shape so i'm going to go from the other end of the line and then go back down to the point to complete the triangle and then i'm just going to sew it off well, sew it off, well, knot it off. And once that's done, you're gonna go back with your crochet hook. And then you're going to make three single, cro no, two single crochets. There we go. And then you're going to make SC3 tog. So don't complete it, go into the next stitch and then go into the stitch after that, grab some yarn and then go through all three. So it is gonna be a little bit difficult kind of doing it with the stuffing, but you, end up getting it so for this row you're going to do three single crochets and then sc3 tog and just keep on doing that all the way around so i did my three single crochets and then i'm doing sc3 tog for my second corner
like so. So now what you're going to do for the 17th and the last row is you're just going to make one single crochet and then SC3 tog. One single crochet and then SC3 tog. So you're just going to do that all the way around to really close that up because this is going to be your last row. And now back again with the darning needle. So when you knot it off, don't cut off some yarn. Well, cut off the yarn, but make sure you have a long piece and then put it through the darning needle and then sew up the little hole together so that you could complete the cube. And then when you're done, just knot it off to fasten it off and then cut it and then hide the st like sticking out yarns. And finally, the body of the little puppy dog is done. Moving on to the second part of the puppy dog, which is the legs, you're going to take your yarn again and make a slip knot, and you're going to chain three, two and three, and then you're going to go into the first chain, grab some yarn and slip knot it together to make a tiny, tiny ring. And then you're going to go inside the ring and you're going to make five single crochets. So this is row one of your legs. So that's one, and then two, three, four, and five. So once that's done, you're going to connect it to the first single crochet you made in that ring with a slip stitch. Now, what you're going to do from here is you're going to single crochet, do two single crochets in each stitch so that in this second row, you'll have 10 stitches total. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet and then another single crochet in that same stitch. So just keep doing that all the way around. And then when you come all the way around, just slip stitch it with the first single crochet of that row. And then from here on out, you're just going to continue single crocheting, no creasing, nothing like that. Just keep single crocheting all the way around and just do that. So right now you're on row three, you're going to just single crochet for each row up to row seven. So once you're done, you kind of kind of have like this little fingerish, little bagish type size thing. And so then you're gonna slip stitch it with the first single crochet, chain one, pull the yarn through to knot it off. And just make four of these for four legs. Now moving on, we're going to be making the dog ears. So take some yarn, make a slip dot again, and then make three chains for the ring. Oh yeah, there, she says in the pattern to make um, magic circle, but yeah, your girl's not doing that. So you're going to connect it together to make a ring. And then inside the ring, you're going to make six, six, six single crochets this time. Two, three, four, five, or I guess I was six. As you can see, I can't really tell what I'm doing when I'm doing this, but when you've done six, join it with the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one, and you're going to do two single crochets in each stitch for this row, so that in total you'll have 12 stitches. So that's two and one. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do one single crochet, and then another single crochet in that same stitch. So two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. When you've done that, Join it with a slip stitch with the first single crochet of that row like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do two single crochets in that stitch, in the stitch you're in. And then you're going to do just one single crochet in the next stitch. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. So two single crochets in one stitch, one single crochet. Two single crochets, one single crochet. So that all the way around you have 18 stitches. And when you've done that, just slip stitch it with the first single crochet of that row like that. And then from here, from row four to seven, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. Um, like just normal single crochet, no increasing, no decreasing. 
So then you're going to have kind of like a slightly bigger version of the legs, but we're going to decrease. So now you're going to do SC2 tog if you guys remember. So don't complete the single crochet, go into the next stitch, grab some yarn, and then pull through all. And then you're going to do single crochets. So you're going to do single crochet, SC2 tog, single crochet, SC2 tog, single crochet, all the way around. And now for rows 9 to 13, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, no increasing, no decreasing. And now once that's done, you're going to make a chain, pull all the yarn through and knot it off. So you're gonna kind of have like this dog ear size. Now onto the tail. So you're gonna take your yarn, make a slip knot, and then chain three so that we can make the ring. Join it with the first chain, grab some yarn, slip it through. And then go inside the ring and you're going to make six single crochets again. So one, two, three, four, five, and come on. And, or well, I guess I did six. Or, well, I guess I already did. Well, either way, you're going to do six, join it with the first single crochet, slip stitch, and then chain one. And then basically from here, you're just going to do single crochets in each stitch, just one, for rows two to ten. And so, yeah, this one is pretty simple. Also, another thing I forgot to mention um, when you're done doing each of the legs, the tails, and the ears, make sure that when you knot it, you're going to leave a long piece of strand. Or long strand of yarn basically okay so you're gonna have your body of the puppy dog you're going to have your four legs you're gonna have your two ears and you're going to have your tail and again make sure you leave a long strand of yarn at each thing thing okay now assembly time so we're going to start off with the legs so i pinned them down first so that i knew where to place them i placed them like so and then because i left a long strand of yarn on each leg i just joined it put used a darning needle and sewed it each leg on and then when i was done i made sure to knot it to fasten it off so i just did that to each leg and then i cut off the excess yarns and then hit the yarns and then basically the legs were all done almost done and now moving on to the ears so I did the same thing. I took the long strand of yarn, put it through the darning needle, pinned them down first so I knew where to place them. And then just sewed it on normally. And then I cut the yarn and then hit it. And I just did the same exact thing to the other ear. And then just hit the yarn, cut off the excess, and the ears are done. Okay, we're almost done. Now for the tail. So took the long strand of yarn that I left on the tail, attached it to the darning needle, and then just sewed it kind of in between the two back legs, and then made sure that it was kind of sticking out from the back side of the body. Then when I was done, I just knotted that and then hid away the excess yarn and cut it off. And there we go. The puppy dog is done. It's so cute. Now for the kitty cat. Personally, I'm a cat person. Comment down below what person you are, dog person or cat person. So the body for the cat is the exact same thing as the body for the dog. So you're going to do the exact same thing and then you're going to stop you're going to stuff but then here's the thing the nose for the cat is just slightly different you're going to take pink yarn you're going to use your darning needle and you're going to make kind of like a heart shape so you're going to do one slanted line and then do another slanted line the other direction so that it kind of looks like a heart and the eyes are, again are the same exact thing so i just put the pink nose right in between the two eyes and then i went over it twice so that it was kind of like thick and not too thin and then I just knotted that in the back. 
and then again i just finished doing the last few rows and then i sewed it up again the exact same thing as doing it with the dog and then the body of the cat is done and then we're going to do the cat ears these are different so you're going to take that same yarn you use for the body you're going to make a slip knot and then chain three and then join it with the first chain to make a ring because we're not doing magic circles so go into the ring and then make five single crochets so one two three four and five and then join it with the first single crochet in that ring with a slip stitch now moving on to the second row of the cat ears you're going to do two single crochets in the stitch you're in so that's the second one and then you're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. So two single crochets, one stitch, one single crochet, two single crochets, one stitch, two single, uh, one single crochet. So two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So when you're done with that, you're going to join with slip stitch and then moving on to the third row, you're going to do the same exact thing. So two single crochets in one stitch, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet. But this time, the number of stitches will increase to 12. So just do that all the way around. So once you've joined that and made your slip stitch, you're going to move on to row four. But here's the thing. The ca my camera cut me off when I was filming row four, but basically for row four, you're going to do two single crochets, like two separate ones and two separate stitches, and then you're going to do two single crochets in one stitch. Do that all the way around, you'll have 16. Now for row five, you're going to do three single se separate s crochets. So that's one, two, and then that should be three, or maybe I miscounted again. Never mind. So uh, yeah, I did three and then you're going to do two single crochets in that stitch. So three separate single crochets, two single crochets. Do that all the way around and then you'll start having like this kind of triangle shape. And then once you're done with row five, you're just gonna chain one, pull the yarn through and make your knot. And then you're gonna leave a long piece of strand of yarn, take your darning needle and you're going to close it so that you don't have like kind of like a little bag. So just take the two sides and just sew it through. And then just knot it to fasten it off and then just make another ear don't forget and then the tail so the tail is basically the same thing as the dog one is just it's slightly longer so you're gonna take your yarn again make three chains join it to the first chain to make your ring and then inside the ring you're going to make six single crochets for your first row so once you've made your six six Oh my god, six single crochets. You're going to join them with the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And then, again, you're just going to do just normal single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch, all the way around for rows 2 to 12. So this is just going to have two more rows than the dog one. So then when you're done, you're going to fasten it off. So now, you're going to have the body of the kitty cat and as you can see i didn't do any filming for the four legs because it's the exact same thing as the dog so four legs two ears and one tail and now so many times so i joined the legs and the tail the exact same way as i did with the dog and then the ears were slightly different so what you have to do with your ears is that you're going to kind of curve them and then attach them to the corner so i pinned them down and then i took the long strand that i left and i just sewed that on making sure that i still had the little curved shape And then I knotted that to fasten it off, hit the excess yarn, and again, I did the same thing to the other ear on the other side. And voila, the little kitty cat is done. So that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want more crochet projects, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. 
and I hope you guys enjoy your time with the little critters. Don't get too attached. Love you guys. Toodles.